Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger, and we are about to race the man. What we've got to do here is start the bike with the key that the old man gave us. Uh-oh. Am I going to have to cut the video again? Luckily not, because no battle screen comes up. Instead, the man enters. And looks like he's got quite a fan base there with the robots. Lowlifes. I don't intend to chicken out. Yeah, let's show him who the real man is. Okay, so this race is pretty straightforward. Pretty much just try and stay ahead of him as much as you can. And you have three turbo boosts and you can use them pretty much whenever you want. I use two of them just randomly, and then I'll save the last one for the very end, so I can charge ahead and have a pretty safe margin of victory. Yeah, I'm not very good at just staying ahead of him without the turbo boost, so I'll just randomly drive around him, I guess. Alright, so we're nearing the end here, just have to use my turbo in the right place, like a... There we go. And we did it. And he looks pretty defeated there. <laughs> anyway, on to Protodome. Yeah, so Protodome is... Wait, uh, actually, I'm gonna go back there for a second because there's something I need to get. Um, you don't actually have to beat him in a race. You can walk across Lab 32. And there is actually an item to pick up in this part of Lab 32, and I'll be getting that after this fight, of course. Okay, I should be able to get at least two of them with Cyclone. Yep. What? I had both of them selected. Why did I only get one of them? That makes Cyclone a total waste, pretty much. That did not do very much damage. Yeah, these mutants are pretty annoying. They're not really hard to beat, they're just annoying, and they do that, they absorb your health. They don't give you much experience either. Okay, well that's one of them. I hope this doesn't take too long or I'll have to cut it out. And knowing my luck, I probably will have to. And whenever I select Cyclone, they always move away from each other. It's like they know what I'm about to do. That one's still not dead? Man, this is... this is kind of embarrassing. I'm getting beaten up pretty badly by these mutants. Well, I'm not in danger of dying or anything, but... It's taking a very long time, much longer than it should. Still not dead yet. And of course it has to get in that attack before I can attack it again. Okay, finally. That only took, I don't know, seven years? But now we can finally move on to where the actual race log is, which is over here. I'll have to fight shadows, but they're not as bad. Okay, now we can go ahead and head back to Protodome, where I was gonna go before I got distracted by the race log. Yeah, just talk to Johnny and he'll, he'll cue RXXR to come in and RxXR will teach you how to use it. Yeah, pretty much it just records your best scores, and if you get a good enough score, then you'll get a power tab or something. I might do that later as a bonus or something, but for now, time to go to Protodome. And fight more enemies. And again, I can't get enemies that are close together with Cyclone. 
Well, Chrono's getting pretty close to 100 with his attack. I think a couple of the hits he got on the mutants were over 100, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, these guys are pretty easy. They have about a third the HP of the mutants. And far fewer annoying attacks. And in case you don't know, we are very close to meeting our next character. So that should be pretty fun. Just gotta go through here. Okay, we are nearly where the gate should be. I'm just gonna use the Enertron here. And we are still hungry. Bet you didn't see that one coming. The door is locked, it seems. That's a bummer. But there's a robot here, so let's investigate. Well, Moral doesn't seem to know it's a robot, but Luca will enlighten us. Being wise beyond her years. And she will try to fix it. And then there's this idea that machines can't be evil unless humans make them that way. And I mean, you know, it's sort of the idea that technology can't be more than we make technology to be, I guess. And we are about to have a new character. And this robot is quite an awesome character, I'll say. Pretty much very strong physically and great techniques, too. And everyone has tried to say that this music theme has to be based on the Rickroll song, Never Gonna Give You Up. And you know, they're definitely similar, but there's a such thing as coincidences. Because I don't think the guy who composed the music, who was Japanese, was listening to British pop songs at the time. Anyway. And we are going to name him Robo. However unoriginal that is. But it works, you know. And apparently he remembers there being humans in the dome. But we're the only ones there now. Since he's going to be part of our party, we might as well just tell him what we're trying to do. And even he can't open that door. But he's willing to help us, luckily. Isn't Robo a nice guy? You can claim he's only nice because Luca programmed him to be nice, but whatever. I'll leave Marl behind. I think Luca's attacks will be more useful. So anyway, now we're going to go up to the factory. And let's check out Robo's stuff here. Yeah, I think he could use the bandana since he's also fairly slow, like Luca. Not as far as intellect goes, as far as, like, battle speed goes. Because Luca and Robo may be physically slow, but they're not mentally slow, that's for sure. And we'll let Robo take the wheel here. Very nicely done. And now we are fighting Acid, which really isn't that possible, but who am I to question video game logic? Anyway, these Acids have very high defense, and so your attacks are only going to do like 2 or 3 damage, but they only have 10 hit points, so it's really not a problem. And they give you a lot more experience than the mutants. <laughs> Which is pretty ironic. And now we're gonna fight these guys, of course. These guys are pretty much like the buggers back in Protodome, except with, I think, 20 more hit points or something. And I actually can Cyclone those guys. Finally, I can find a good use for Cyclone. <laughs> And 
And this sign will tell you which direction goes which way. So we're going to go to the factory first. Oh shoot. It looks like I'm running out of time, so I'm probably not going to have time to go through the conveyor belt. Which is basically a series of battles. I can pick up Marl's weapon here. Yep. It's the Robin Bow. But I'm just about out of time, so I'm going to have to cut it off here. Uh, thanks for watching, and next time we will explore the factory a bit more. Well, see you then.